We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. And it's lunchtime. That's right everybody, it's lunchtime. And Angela Stokes Monarch is making some... So, um, we are very blessed to have this beautiful spiralized zucchini today. From, from the garden? Yeah. Look at it. Beautiful. So we use the spiruli slicer, which, no, I don't know where it is. Um, oh, there it is, in case people don't know what it is. This guy, spiruli slicer, to... Um, spiralize down this huge zucchini from the garden and now we have this big beautiful bowl of pasta and we're going to make a basil cilantro avocado sauce um and by the way people keep commenting why do you use plastic bowls we use plastic bowls because that's what's available here um we would use wood or glass or something if we could find things that were big enough but as of yet, we haven't found those things yet. So for now, we're dealing with plastic bowls, but that's just to mix everything up, you know? Then we can put things into nice bowls after we've done it. So we do understand that plastic isn't necessarily the greatest option. All right, so this is a really simple little sauce. Look at this, this is it, the, the ingredients. Avocado, some fresh basil and cilantro from the garden, garlic, lime juice, and salt. I made something like this yesterday, really yummy so I thought I'd show you guys how to make it as well. So this is one of the amazing avocados from this area. Best avos I've ever had anywhere. Is that the same for you too Mr. Monarch or do you prefer some of the ones in California? Um, yeah these are equally as good as the Ojai. California. It's just that they always have the good ones year round here. Yeah. They're amazing. They're so creamy and dense. And for me, a lot of the foods here, especially the fruits, or anything really, they all taste like the most amazing examples of that thing that I've ever had anywhere. I think I mentioned that before, but I still get blown away by how good that everything is here. So that was a big avocado. This is a pretty small clove of garlic and then I picked these beautiful fresh herbs straight from the garden just now um, little handful of fresh basil leaves there and little handful of fresh cilantro coriander if you're in the UK or Australia places like that um, half a lime we don't get lemons here really can kind of get lemons sometimes. Mostly they just have sweet lemons though, which are kind of a bit pointless to me. They just don't really taste of anything. So we mostly use limes when we're looking for the kind of sour element in recipes. And a little bit of sea salt. This beautiful crystalline sea salt that we have here. And that's it. Just blend those things up. Sauce. Maybe we can show them the bananas in the meantime. Okay. Look at the bananas! They're amazing! These came off our land. Um, they've been growing for a really long time, eh? Like more than a year, I think these guys were in process. And we just got them cut down last week um, when some of them started to turn yellow. And we put them in here and we hung them up and now you can see they're all yellow and I tried one yesterday for the first time, it was absolutely amazing. Best banana ever. And they match you. Oh yeah. Um they have like a it's kind of like eating corn on the cob. It's like they have this core in the center with all these little black seeds and they're so like dense, really, really rich nutrient feeling food. Um, so 
so I'm feeling really blessed that we have this bounty here straight from the land. And apparently this kind of banana is called mocho here. And um, sometimes you can buy them like this in the market, but they rarely let them get this big. Um, and they also apparently don't often get this big because they're not in really good soil. So this is like an amazing crop. Remember that time we came in here when we first came out here to visit Mike Adams and he had those huge bananas that tasted like bread to me? Well, here we go. We got our own. few of the leaves haven't got quite blended in, so I'm just going to blend that a little bit more. And then, we need a spatula. Just going to dump this beautiful green sauce out onto the zucchini and mix it all up. And voila, it's all fresh ingredients except for the salt, isn't it? <coughs> nah. And you could even use seaweed instead of the salt. Make a very garden fresh, amazing, yummy meal. Does Mr. Monarch like zucchini pasta? Yes. Yes. Would it be his preferred last meal of choice? No. No. There we go. Wow, that smells good. Looks good. It's be yummy, isn't it, Bobo? Yeah. So that's it. How many ingredients was that? It was like six ingredients or something. Super easy. And of course, you could add in other things as well. As per your taste buds, maybe you'd like some chili in there. Maybe you'd like some cumin. I bet that would be really good in here. You could add in some sauerkraut if you wanted, you know. You could play around with it. Um, very easy and very yummy. Very quick as well. Great for children. Voila! And who do we got there? Angela Stokes, Monarch. And Matt Monarch about to eat zucchini pasta off of Angela's bum. Baba! And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV. Baba. Show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.